It doesn't make sense to be sitting around. So yeah, it worked out. That's your job. Um, it's really unfortunate. Hey guys, it's your girl Cam and welcome back to another video. This video, we're gonna do a mukbang. Start, I'm gonna let you guys drive with me. Car. Seatbelt, don't forget to wear your seatbelt. Okay. me sick i don't know why but i always get sick after one so i'm not even mad um what other places sell burgers see that's all i know pretty much like five guys i don't like that it's too greasy and junk so yeah we're gonna go to burger king and then i'm going to eat with you guys and answer you guys' questions that y'all have asked Okay, hey guys, I am now back from Burger King. Let's put on some hand sanitizer first. Oh, can y'all see my sweatpants? Oh, my goodness. But, okay, so I have all the questions here. I think there's another one. And then I ask questions on Snapchat as well. Oh, and there are assumptions too. Questions and assumptions. So, I'm going to show y'all what I got from Burger King. Shout out Burger King had mozzarella sticks because I didn't, but... Like some mozzarella sticks you freaking put in the oven. Y'all can't see. Mm. I mean, they're kind of good. That's not why I went, anyways. Oh, it comes with marinara sauce. I got my barbecue sauce. Because if you know me, I think barbecue sauce goes on everything. I put it in spaghetti too. And I know that might sound bad, but everybody that tastes my spaghetti says they love it, so you should try it. But I just got my burger and some fries and the mozzarella sticks. So, let's get started. I gotta open the barbecue sauce up first. Maybe I should open up the marinara sauce so I don't have to. I hope I don't spill this. Okay. Where did I? Oh, I need to take a thumbnail. Hold on, hold on. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Had to do that freaking um, thumbnail. Okay, let's get started. Somebody asked, how's your relationship with God and how do you want to improve it more if you're a Christian? Um, I feel like my relationship with God is pretty good. I grew up um, going to church. My parents are Christian, obviously. I go to a Baptist church. So I feel like my relationship with God is pretty good. I could obviously make it stronger. But I feel like it's pretty good. I pray every night. Um, I'm big on praying. Faith makes miracles happen. And I've seen so many things happen just in my life. So, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I can always make it stronger, though. Somebody said... Oh, my God. I got barbecue sauce on my pants. Somebody said... Can you film a slick back? I guess they mean like how to do a slick back hairstyle. Yeah, I can film that. Oh well, my friend said, how whack is this quarantine? Really whack.
Here's some, well, I'll save the assumptions for last. Who's gonna be the next president? I don't know. I just hope it's not freaking Donald Trump. That man. People really voted for him in the first place, like. Now, look at us. Look at us. Been in the house for months. Tropical smoothie or smoothie king? Okay, hear me out. If I just worked out, Smoothie King tastes better to me, which means uh, Smoothie King has a lot more sugar in it. But if I'm leisurely getting a smoothie, I like Tropical Smoothie, but I also like Tropical Smoothie because um, of their breakfast and stuff. So good, so. Yeah, both, they're both really good. Smoothie King is not as healthy though as Tropical Smoothie. Legs or wings? <laughs> I like wings. Love it. I hate drumsticks. Hate them. Mm -mm. Burger is so good, y'all. American Deli or A Town? That's a good one. If you go to school with me, we have A Town. In Orangeburg, I've never seen A Town anywhere else, but apparently they have it in Georgia. So, um, hmm. At A Town, you can get your fries dipped in anything, so I get ranch fries, and I love it. But. American Deli doesn't have that. So, hmm. Mm -hmm. They're both really good. I don't think I can pick. Thoughts on a PWI versus HBCU? Me and my friend T are going to film a video like that because she goes to a PWI and I go to a HBCU, if you didn't know. Um,. I never went to a PWI, but from what my friends say, I feel like being an African American going to HBCU gets you like, excuse me, it builds your confidence because they're all focused on you and like showing you how the minority can like don't ever feel lesser than anybody else, you know? And giving you tips and stuff like that. So then, like, when you walk into interviews, when you walk around, like, you, like, hold your head high. And, like, I keep saying, like, and never think, oh, just because they're whatever race they are. Like, they're going to get the job over me. Like, no. You know you're qualified. You walk in there and you get the job. So, I personally love an HBCU. I was never going to ever go to an HBCU. Um before I uh, got my softball scholarship or whatever. But if y'all want a story on that, let me know. Or I can do it. But I don't know. A lot of my friends go to PWIs and they're African American. And at first, it seemed to start off rough, but I think on my one friend in particular, she just found her like clique of people Oh or thunder and now she loves it I'm so full already guys I don't know if my friends are watching this they're going to make fun of me because they say I eat like a child hmm. advice for college athletes during this time to be honest work out like grind don't use this time to be just laying around it doesn't even make sense why would you even do that after you've worked hard why would you just get back home and lay around just to go back down 
to where you know what i'm saying like the point is to always be getting better it doesn't make sense to be sitting around so yeah it worked out that's your job um it's really unfortunate and some of us didn't get to have our season surprised me but nothing you can do about it i mean it really shows oh my gosh it really shows do not take things for granted like who knew our last practice wasn't gonna be our last practice i just remember we had such a good time because we were about to go to um like our roundup thing and we were having such a good time at practice like we had all a lot of us not all of us had came early to like work get extra work in so we could be set then we went to an escape room our coach took us to an escape room and then we went to eat like we just had a great time then we found out season was canceled and i felt like a piece of me shattered it really is depressing because like you train over the summer you train in the fall for the spring but we had no spring but god's plan i mean everything it happens for a reason and i honestly and truly believe that this break has been so good to me like i've realized a lot of things has caused me to start back up my youtube channel so i trust him and at the end of the day sorry it is what it is so whatever some people on here ask like such weird and disgusting stuff like Okay, now let's do some assumptions. Okay. People said... Well, this one person said... I low-key thought you were mean, but you're hella sweet and so pretty. Thanks! A lot of people say that. I think I have a, like... Like, my... <laughs> my natural face is mean. I don't think I'm a mean person, though. A lot of people say that about me like i'm intimidating or like guys say that but um i don't know what about me is intimidating i'm headstrong but mm. um you're fun to be around <laughs> i mean i think so i'm great not okay <laughs> I don't know. I think I just have an interesting personality. Like, me and my friends, we just be cutting up. Not in a bad way, but we have a good time. Like, I just am myself. And I don't really care what people think, because why would I walk around, excuse me, acting like somebody else? Excuse me. I just don't understand what that'll do for you to act like somebody else gets you nowhere um you're so s motivated yeah you gotta go hard um in this life i feel like i've always been really motivated from a very young age like i didn't used to watch tv none of that I'd always be like doing something that I thought was productive. I just really know and believe in myself and I know what I can do if I put my mind to it. So I just try to go hard in everything because from what I've seen, Friends, look, I finished my food, losers. From what I've seen, when you go hard, you get what you want. Like, <clears throat> if you work hard, I don't think I can eat these, though. If you work hard for what you want, you're going to get it. So, yeah, I am very motivated. And also, I feel like it rubs off on the people I'm around. Which I really like, because you want people in your circle that are like you, that are where you want to go. In my, not where you want to go, but like, 
you know, you're, you guys are all like headstrong on the same path of what you want to do. I don't know. I like surrounding myself with people that have their stuff together and are going to be successful in their life and like are not going to stop until they are successful in their life. So, yeah. You're spoiled. Pe I do not like when people say this because my parents give me things because I do good in school. I um, work hard. I don't get in trouble. LOL, who's coming outside? This might be my dad. See if he'll be in my video. Hi. Guys, speaking of my dad, look, here he is. Come on. Why are you still in a video? Because it's a car mukbang. You have to eat food. Something. She ain't going nowhere. She don't like okay, that. Okay, I already went somewhere, but I had She's to film like this video, Dad. Don't okay. do that. All right, go ahead and film it. Why okay. you keep playing with your hair? Okay, that's like all. That. Okay, bye. I have to finish it. A mess. So yeah, speaking of the devil, there he goes. But yeah, no, I work hard. Did this change the lighting? Yeah, it got really dark. They don't just give me what I want. Like they see that I do well and I work hard and then they reward me when I need it. But also I pay for a lot of my own stuff. Duh. I feel like I'm always working, so if I have the money to pay for it, why would I ask my parents? No. So, I don't know if you call that spoiled or not. I mean, I have working parents. I work hard. Oh, and, like, I know they try to give us a better life than what they have. They didn't have bad lives, but... Obviously, like, when you grow up, when you have kids, you want to give them, even if you did have a really good life, you want to give them a better life, but you want to make sure they're not just laying around being like, oh, my dad will buy it. Oh, my mom will buy it. Like, they're working, too. So, if I see my child is working and doing good in school, I mean, that's their only job. So, I don't know what y'all be talking about, but that's how it works. But I am always working, so I don't, I'm not just given everything at all. But yeah. Mm, now I'm on Snapchat. You are the only child. No. I have a brother. <sighs> I'm full. I have a brother. Who's 17. My parents are together, too, by the way. And we all live together. Or whatever. I have a brother. He's 17. And I have a sister who's 24. We're four years and seven days apart. And I'm 20. Yep. So, nope. I'm not the only child. I tried to get my brother to do a brother tag with me, but he won't, so maybe my sister will do it. Here she comes from. Okay. How old am I? I'm 20 years old. Mm -hmm. How long have you been natural? My whole life, I've never had a perm. Relaxer. None of that. Yeah, I've been natural my whole entire life. Okay, maybe one or two more. Do you? I think they meant like, am I into nutrition? says do you like daily nutrition 
to be honest maybe i should start eating good but at this point i just be eating whatever i want whatever i want it's probably not a good idea but i think my metabolism is fast or something because i've been the same weight since 11th grade 12th grade so like my body has changed so i don't understand how that can be but i grew a couple inches so maybe it just weighed out or something i'm 5'8 now yeah, in 11th grade, I was probably like, what, 5'5"? Five, five? I really grew, like, a lot senior year to, like, now. Because I thought I was done growing because last year I was 5'7". My doctor said my plate didn't close. Something like that. But I hope it closes because I ain't trying to be no green giant or nothing. Mm -mm. All right, what else do we have? Jada, hello, I'll end on this one. Jada said, why, why do you love Jada so much? Crazy girl, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Don't know? But yeah, okay. I see my stomach. I am full. And I ate all my food mostly besides one mozzarella stick, so... I think I did pretty good. Um, as always, let me know what you guys want to see down below. Or if you want to see any other videos, hair videos, vlogs, more mukbangs, mukbangs, whatever they're called. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.